Hey folks, we are back at Mark Kelly Farms in the kitchen. And as promised yesterday, we are going to do our third installment doing recipes with the uh, smoked rabbit that we made. Don't tune out though if you don't like rabbit because you can use any meat for this. It's a really good recipe, so stick around and we'll show you what we're doing. Alright, what we're doing is we're going to make spring rolls. Every now and then I get a hanker in for a good spring roll. They're very refreshing, really good meal to make. And you can make them uh, super easy and we'll show you how to do it. So let's get after it. Alright, on the stove we have a pot of almost boiling water. Uh, I've actually turned the fire off. And we are going to take our rice noodles. This you can get in the Asian aisle at your favorite store. Sometimes it's called rice vermicelli. Not to be confused with the regular wheat vermicelli in your pasta aisle. It is different. Uh, this cooks super fast. We're going to put it in here in our water. It only takes three or four minutes to soften up. We'll flip it over here in a second to get the whole mess softened up. Uh, you can pan fry these. You can uh, boil them and soften them like we're doing now. Use them in salads. You can use this for chow mein. This is my favorite chow mein noodle. I love the little thin noodles. So we're going to get this softened and we'll come back. Okay, while we are waiting for our noodles to soak a little bit, uh, we're going to get our vegetables prepped. So far I've prepped some carrot. Some jalapeno that I've taken the seeds and the membranes out of, but if you like it super hot, you can leave all that in. We have some cilantro. We have some scallions that we've cut, kind of julienned. Um, what I do is I don't worry about cutting the green parts. I just cut them the length, but the white part, I'll slice them long ways uh, to make them that way. I slice the jalapenos long ways also. I try to make everything about the same length as the spring roll that we're going to roll. So now we're going to do a little bit of lettuce. You can use romaine or any good leaf lettuce, butter crunch, whatever. And I'm going to do a chiffonade on this. If you don't know how to do a chiffonade, stack all your leaves. You can even do this with larger herbs that you're using. And you roll these babies up into a tight roll. And then you can cut them just like the Asian people cut their noodles. Just come in and cut them thin across your roll. You can see we got a beautiful little strip of lettuce called a chiffonade. All right. Beautiful lettuce for our spring rolls. I'm just going to put that over here on our, uh, call it my little construction plate. So everything's handy here to uh, get ready to make our spring rolls. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut up our meat a little bit. So this is that good smoked rabbit. That we had from our smoked rabbit episode. If you didn't see that, we'll put a, uh, a little tag on the video. That's probably enough for just a couple that I'm going to make for me. I'm going to make some more for Kelly later when she gets home. So I don't want these big lumps of meat like this. I want it to be able to uh, distribute into the spring roll a little bit better. So I'm just going to give this a little finer slice here. Makes it a lot easier to work with. You don't have the big lumps in your spring roll. You can smell the smokiness of this meat. It's really good. Really enjoyed it in those other two dishes we made the last couple days. And we'll leave a link to those as well. But that's probably good enough. I'll put it here next to 
our little construction platter. So let's get these noodles out of the pan. They're done and we'll cool them off a little bit. All right, our noodles have just about soaked up all that water in that pan. I probably had two or three cups of water in that pan. So those are ready to go. I'm going to drain these out real quick and we'll let them cool down. We don't want to use hot noodles in our spring roll. All right, we're getting our stuff together. The, the other thing we grabbed out of the fridge was some Thai basil. If you cannot find Thai basil, you can use mint. So on our plate here, we've got uh, thinly sliced carrots, thinly sliced scallions, thinly sliced uh, jalapenos, some fresh cilantro, some fresh lettuce uh, that we did a little chiffonade on, and then we have our Thai basil leaves here. We have our smoked uh, rabbit here. We have our noodles that we cooled off under cool running water. Uh, we just let the water run until we didn't feel any warm water coming out the bottom. So they're just really nice little noodles. Whatever we don't use, we're going to save. Those are really good. We have our spring roll wrappers. They come in a package that looks like that. And basically all they are is like a, it's almost like a rice paper. Super thin, doesn't take very long. In fact, we have two of them there. So you can see how thin they are. And they do not take very long to rehydrate. So we have a pie plate here with uh, our hot tap water in it. And then we soak that for probably five seconds or so. Pull it out. We'll put it on our little cutting board here and we'll start building our wraps. Okay, folks, here we go. So we take our spring roll wrap, put it in that hot water. Uh, you don't want it to get fully hydrated to where it's super floppy because it'll rehydrate, uh, continue to rehydrate as you go. So we'll take it out now. It's going to still feel just a, like it's got a little bit of uh, kind of a plasticity left. We're going to take some of our noodles and we'll put our noodles right in the center and we want to kind of line them up, spread them out a little bit to where they're kind of elongated like that. So then we'll take some of our, our nice meat here and we'll put right on top of our noodles remember these dishes didn't have a super lot of meat in them because all of this stuff is kind of stretches the meat a little bit so now we'll take some of our sliced carrot put a few sticks in there like that we'll take some of our Jalapenos, depending on how hot you like it, we'll probably put four pieces in there like that. We'll take a little bit of our onion, our scallion, layer it in there like that. And then we're going to take some of our chiffonade of lettuce, put that in there. Lots of layers of flavors in this, folks. A little bit of our cilantro like that and a few leaves of our Thai basil like that probably about four of those leaves so then I'm going to take the side of my wrap stick into my cutting board a little bit so we want to pull the side of that over kind of glue it to itself Find the other side and do the same thing. We're going to bring the sides over like you would say a burrito. And then we're going to take the end and we're going to try to bring all this back in here. Make it nice and tight. And kind of tuck the ends in as you roll. Like this. Make it as tight as you can get it.
there's our spring roll. We have a little bit sticking out here, but you get the idea. And I like them even a little bit tighter than that, so we're going to work, try to get tighter on that next one. So I'm not going to put the uh, wrapper in here quite as long. So that's about, I would say, three seconds. Take some of our noodles, put it right in the middle, spread them out a little bit. Some of our meat, like so. A little bit of our carrot. A little bit of our onion. Try to keep it in a nice little stack there. A little bit of our jalapeno. Cilantro. lettuce, and some Thai basil. Okay, so let's take the side of our wrap again, run it over. Like so, close the sides up. We take our top. We're going to push that filling back in there as tight as we can, rolling that top over, keeping that nice and tight, keeping that end pulled in, and roll that nice and tight. So there's a really nice spring roll right there. That's a perfect one. All right, we'll continue to make these, and we'll come back when we're done. All right, I ditched that uh, little cutting board because uh, I have found that this little dinner plate, I put a little water on it because it was kind of sticking to the cutting board a little bit. And then uh, because it's wet, I only soaked that rice paper for a couple seconds there. And then you'll see this is a little bit easier. Don't go too crazy on your filling. Like when you're making a burrito, if you've ever experienced that, or a taco. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. And it gets so big you don't realize it that when you get all done you can't close it. You don't want to do that here. So just go... Go to where you got the flavor. You don't need a big old pile of it. Remember, we cut our onions to about the right length. Same with our jalapeno here. It's almost the right length for what you're doing. Little sprinkle of cilantro. little sprinkle of our lettuce, a little chiffonade of lettuce. I don't know why, but I like that word. Chiffonade sounds fancy, I guess. So two uh, Thai basil leaves on top. So I'll fold those sides over, kind of glue them down. Bring this side over, kind of glue it down to the side here, and then we're going to take our end, comes up off the plate real nice, and we're going to kind of drag all this stuff back in here pretty tight. Make a nice tight little package, and then continue to roll that up. Makes a nice little spring roll. All right, there we have it, our beautiful spring rolls, fit for a king. Now, my favorite dipping sauce for spring rolls is hoisin sauce, or you can use a sweet Thai chili sauce. 
uh, we have a recipe for the sweet chili sauce if you uh, look for it in our uh, in our folder I have it in playlist under recipes I believe but dip that in there and take a little bite cheers mmm so yummy Wow. Love these spring rolls. Super good. Again, you can use any meat. Uh, any meat you like. A lot of people use shrimp. It's really good. Most people cut the shrimp in half. Kind of long ways. So they're not so thick in the spring roll. And they'll put them right underneath that first wrap. So it lines up. It looks beautiful. So give these spring rolls a try. Or any spring rolls a try. Not to be confused with the fried spring rolls. I don't think those are truly spring rolls. But uh, you're going to love these. Really, really, really. So until then, stay safe. Stay healthy when we see you next time. We love you guys. We're going to have some more of these right now. Bye-bye.